Hello everyone, uh, we're at Cap Down Studios. Um, I'm Chris Allen, here with Chris Ebbs. Hey. And today we're going to give you a first look at Night of the Thieving Drones, uh, the full version. So you might have heard about this game before a little bit. Uh, the idea is that you are in control of uh, Knight, the drone in the middle of the screen there. Um, he will be going around different locations around the world to fight criminal gangs who are using their own drones to steal technology uh, from, from around the world. You'll find there are certain treasures to protect and the enemies will chase after those and you have to chase after them and try and destroy them before they want to be able to the treasures. Uh, so let's just show you kind of how the game works for the time being. So if we go to play, yep. Yeah. So this will be your main menu. Uh, we have kind of four options at the minute. So you've got the campaign mode, which will take you all around the world into different locations, saving treasures from enemies. The endless mode, which will be a randomly generated kind of tower, if you like, of levels. Uh, the research mode, which will allow you to spend money on your drone on night and make him do different things. And the shop, which is where you can spend real world money on items in the game, such as the in-game currency, the energy you'll need to run night, and also pop some boosters for your, uh, for your drone. So let's just look at the research lab for a while. So this will be what you're presented with. So every time you complete a level in the campaign, you will get a, an amount of cash. Um, some of that cash you can choose to have filtered into your drone's research. So your drone has kind of four stats to play with. Uh, the speed, which is how fast night moves. The range, which is how far away he can detect enemies. The angle of detection of the beam. And the power, which is how powerful his kind of beam is. So different enemies in the game will have different strengths. Um, we'll demonstrate that when we show the actual level. But um, basically, power will kind of reduce the amount of time it takes to actually destroy an enemy. Um, also, you can boost. Oh, yep, you can boost your investment. So you can give an amount of money to put into your research uh, just out of whatever money you've got currently. Um, this will just, as I say, this will just be like a nice cash injection into your kind of research as it, as it is. Okay, uh, so the budget panel is where you choose how much of the money you make goes into your research. So you can set the budget from 1 to 100, so obviously you want, uh, from, from 0 to 100. So 0 is obviously no money you gain goes into research, and then 100 is all the money you gain goes into research. And then you have uh, sliders for each of the stats. So this chooses how much of your budget for research you set goes into each of those stats when you research them. You can't set a value of more than 100% across the four stats. But it's kind of so you can kind of focus on one area or kind of leave one area behind. So if you want to be a really fast droid, you can put 100% budget into your speed, and then you leave all the others uh, empty. Or you can divide them up 25% each. It's entirely up to you how you want to play. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, again, so let's snub into the campaign. So you're presented with this kind of uh, card-like, um, kind of contract-based uh, selection. So you'll have to perform well in each level to kind of gain enough stars to move on to the next level. Uh, and each level or well area, really, should be saying, has a number of stages within it. Uh, so you go to earn stars earn coins and then keep night going. We're playing for a lot of different areas and a lot of different locations around the world which all look differently and hopefully play a bit differently as well. So for now we have kind of one place we can show you. So if we go to stage one. Okay, so the mission brief for this one is you're in the kind of museum level, you've got four treasures to, to protect and the length of your shift will be 240 uh, time units, let's say. You will fail this pleasure level if you lose two of your treasures. Um, before we start, so the, the idea of the game is that you're kind of playing over a night um, in of in-game time. So the game is going to get darker and lighter as, as it moves along. Uh, so yeah, let's start. Let's see how it plays. Okay, so we can move around. We can look for drones coming in. There's one at the top there. So the one at the top there is a kind of spider drone. Um, they're the slowest moving. Over drones currently in the game, they also have one of the higher energy of the higher powers, so it takes about five seconds of focus to destroy them. 
the bottom down here is one of the orb drones, so those those are a bit quicker, they uh, take a little less time to destroy. But they can also fly over the table as you can see uh, kind of dotted around the level. So we've got a spider drone picking up some treasure down there. Let's stop that before it runs away. Beautiful, yeah. So the treasure is when they've been dropped by a enemy. Um, after so long they will either move back by themselves or you can escort them back yourself just by standing standing near them. What you will notice is that the enemy drones, once they pick up a treasure, they'll try and escape back to the spawn point they came from. They will also kind of disappear as it gets darker, so you have to try and find them. Um, it just becomes harder to find them. Here we go, so can we keep going? Yeah, doing a great job of uh, defending the treasure here, Chris, well done. <laughs> So, uh, probably one of the score is going to work, so you'll be rewarded a number of stars based on your performance. Uh, so three stars will be if you protect all of your treasures, and then you'll get two stars if you lose a treasure, and then one star will be kind of if you manage to complete a level but you had a lot of trouble, so if your treasures keep getting picked up or you didn't manage, you didn't manage to destroy that many enemies. Um, your end of round coin count will be based on the number of treasures you have remaining and also the number of drones that you destroyed during the level. So there's two drones currently in this version of the game, but we are introducing a couple more. Um, we will talk about those at a later date. But they should kind of make things a little more interesting as the game goes on. So perhaps talk a bit about the location we're going to go to as well. So we're kind of looking at kind of uh, science labs, power stations. Um, also we've got the museum here as well. Perhaps go other places like castles, tombs, that kind of thing. Uh, just have a kind of variety of where we can play. And it'll also have, probably have uh, kind of different graphical, they'll all have different graphical looks. They'll all have their own kind of feels. We'll probably try and vary the layouts of the levels as well so that it feels like there's a different challenge every time you play. Is there 40 seconds ago. So I should point out we're playing this game on a on a PC at the moment, but the actual game will be on mobile. You'll have a kind of uh, virtual joystick control on there. It does add to the challenge a little bit, but we are looking at ways of kind of refining that and making it more accessible to people as well. 20 seconds left. We've only lost one to you, Chris. Well done. Ten seconds. Five seconds, nearly there. That was close. And we're done. Well done. Okay, so um, so Chris managed to defend the most of the treasures and uh, got a decent score there. So you can probably see we are still kind of working on the game a little bit, but uh, we're hoping to have a more polished version ready for you when the game comes out. We're aiming for uh, the end of March or early April. Uh, for this release, and we're hoping to kind of support it beyond then as well. The initial game will be free, uh, but there will be kind of paid content you can buy. We're looking at kind of adding cosmetics uh, for that kind of for that kind of thing, but you can also buy kind of energy to play the game with, and also coins to give your uh, researcher boost as well. Okay, uh, so thanks very much for watching today, guys. Uh, it's just been a quick video to kind of test how this works. We are looking at streaming in the future, hopefully. Uh, just need to work out a few little issues with with that. Um, but otherwise, we hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Uh, we're happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, look for us on Twitter, uh, Captain underscore Games. Look for us on Facebook, Captain Games. And uh, we'll be uploading some. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, we'll be uploading some on YouTube as well. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Bye.